Kayla Oresti says, hashtag recreated Laura Tagle. And guess what, queer artists? This is going to be fast and quick. Alright, creators, so let's get started with this video and this design. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of creators have been sending me this picture and I kept thinking, but that's mad easy. But since I was tagged on so many posts about this, well, I'm more than happy to give you what you asked for. So, here goes. The first thing we have to do is prep our nails like we usually do before an application. I'm going to be using a clear tip or crystal tip. If you want to do it with a sculpted tip, do it. It's gonna look great. Both ways work and both ways look awesome. So, right here I'm gluing the tip on. These tips, in fact, I've had for a long time. I bought them a while ago and they have, oh my god, a beautiful curved Cree artist. And this is the first time I'm using them, just for you guys. All set, all the tips are in place and now I'm just making sure that you cannot see where the natural nail and the tip come together. Mainly because the effect is semi-transparent so we have to fade that union out. I'm going to apply the adherent or the primer, whichever one you usually use. So I'm applying two coats on the natural nail and here we go creators, let's get started with the nail. I'm going to do it with crystal acrylic and you also have the option of doing it with the clear gel you normally use for extensions. All set. Now once the acrylic is dried, I'm going to shape the nail, file it, and well these nails are square, these are super long because that's how they looked in the picture. But stay till the very end of the video and I'll show you some options for those who prefer shorter nails. Okay so our nails are ready, let me get rid of the dust and now let's make sure we make them exactly like the ones in the picture. So here's a trick. Okay, I got these gels. The brand is Pro Fantastic. They're called Blooming and they're semi-transparent gels with color. They actually have the stained glass effect. Do you guys recall the stained glass effect? Well, it's basically the same one but in gel. And it's really, really easy to handle. You guys ready? Let's give it a try and see if our nails end up looking like the ones in the picture. <laughs> Here goes. So, Cree artists, I'm going to apply a different color on each nail. The box I got came with seven colors, and I'll use each one of them so you guys can check them out. Please let me know in the comment section which one you like, which one's your favorite, and I'll be reading them and sending you lots of love, okay? So, I already applied the pink one, then the blue one, which is not actually very blue. It's more like turquoise, which is beautiful. I got the yellow one down and the purple one. For my thumbnail, I'm also going to apply one of the colors I got, which is magenta. The only ones I won't actually get to try out on this hand is the red one and the black one, which looks pretty cool by the way for the smoky effects. Next I'm going to cure my nails under the lamp for 30 seconds and it is going to be necessary to apply a second coat to my nails because the effect is not as strong as I expected. Oh and hey, guess what? These gels smell amazing. I don't know if it's some kind of flower or fruit scent, no clue, but they smell delicious. Okay, so here are my nails after going under the lamp for a second time, 30 seconds is enough. So okay, I've got my two coats of gel and you know, I think we could be done, but I want to give my nails an extra shine with my all-in-one so that they look nice and glossy and beautiful and sooner or Later, you'll have everyone telling you how gorgeous your design is. So we cure our nails under the lamp for 60 seconds and we're done Cree artists! So as you can see it's a really simple and quick 100% nail salon design. So there you go, challenge completed! It looks exactly the same huh? You really can't complain about me, I really deliver. <laughs> Alright, so there you go, easy peasy, there's no excuses to not do it. I'll be checking out your pictures with this design through my webpage, queerartist.com on Facebook, okay? I'd love to see how it turned out for you and the colors you used. Here are all the materials that I used. And for those of you who like shorter nails, here's an option on coffin and oval nails. So which ones do you like best? The longer squared nails, the coffin ones, or the rounded ones? I'll read you in the comment section, and queer artists, I'll see you for the next video. Love you tons, mwah! Bye!